this video includes a paid promotion. At a stoplight in the valley nearly two years ago, this spirited man noticed a billboard. Started a nonprofit at five, fed 20,000 people. And this kid, Joshua Williams, he was only 13. What must that feel like to serve all those people, thought this spirited man. And who do I serve? Free repairs. That's service, so he thinks. Oh, oh. Today, he can finally deploy his free repair station. Why the delay? What has held him back for two years? Two obstacles have delayed deployment of the free repairs station. One technical, one moral. The first obstacle, the technical obstacle that delayed deployment of the free repairs station was electricity. How to power his tools. A power inverter plugged into the Land Cruiser cigarette lighter? Well, then he'd have to run the dirty, stinky, loud diesel engine to get the electricity, lest he drain the Land Cruiser's battery. So no, not a power inverter. The childhood treehouse dream of a gas-powered generator? Noise, exhaust, driving around with a gasoline-filled engine inside his car. No. Divine Intervention Sponsorship conquered his technical obstacle with this gadget, an EcoFlow power station. This one's called the Delta Max. Basically a big battery with all the major plug holes in it. Takes less than two hours to fully charge it. It'll run 99% of the house's appliances when they shut the power off again. About as loud as a laptop and not heavy. Probably not going to unplug the hot glue gun or the soldering iron. Wonder how much juice all these tools will suck up over the course of a long day. And the moral obstacle? The morality be in this spirited man's bonnet? Well, aren't we meant to be quiet in our service? Humble? Shouldn't we serve with humility? What's with all this internet posting? Look at me. Look at how selfless and charitable I'm being. Come on. This service has a sponsor. This service garners valuable publicity. This service. What makes you so sure this actually is service, big shot? What's up, guys? How's it going, man? Maybe this spirited man should be a bit more quiet in his service. Maybe this free repair station is simply self-serving. Who knows? Well, this spirited man knows who knows. One of his community's spiritual leaders knows. Rabbi Weiss knows. I sort of had this moral question as to whether it's still service if you if the one serving stands to benefit from the service there are uh different levels of service like the maimonides who writes jewish law amongst the other things that he has written and studied um he writes that there are different levels of giving of giving oneself or giving help any type of service to another person and he writes that the greatest level of giving is when the giver doesn't know who the receiver is and the receiver doesn't know who the giver is because then there's never a time where someone feels uncomfortable 
On the other hand, it's written that any type of help that someone gives to somebody else is of great virtue. Because if you don't want to, you don't have to. The only thing you have to do is pay your taxes and that's it. You know, you don't have to give anybody anything if you don't want to. So the fact that you're going to go and give something to someone, even if something will come out for you later on or during, you're still helping that person or the group of people, whoever it is. So the answer to the question is, it's for sure a great thing to help other people with something that you can do where they have a challenge to do or or can't do that or don't know how to do that. This spirited man gave us a mission coin from his Marine Corps unit. This spirited boy, Joseph, gets one vacation per year with his spirited man dad, Robert. This year, Joseph said he wanted to come to LA for his vacation to the free repair station. And Robert drove him to LA for the free repair station from Phoenix. They left at two o'clock in the morning to make it. Bought us lunch too. This spirited man is in training to be a firefighter. And this is his knife. Twenty-something repairs, eight hours, barely made a dent in the EcoFlow charge. This counts. This counts as service. The confirmation is a feeling. It feels good to serve. Everyone knows that. Thank you, EcoFlow, for sponsoring our repair station. Check out EcoFlow's site by link in the description to get these amazing products. This week on the Patreon, archival videos with director's commentary on my Patreon right there. The link is right there.